You know, you try to be careful about where you park because if you get towed, you have to dig deep into your pockets. Well, now, a group of drivers who got their cars back from the towing company are pulling out more money to be involved in a lawsuit. Jamie, it is a parking war that has gone on for months. We started following this story in March, and the towing continued. Now a lawsuit puts the blame on the towing company and a property owner. J. King's Bar and Restaurant is known for its patio parties. This is Gambrel's in Anne Arundel County, and it's a gamble just to park your car. Oh, my God, my car is gone. So it happened on Mother's Day for Leslie Odorende. An extra $300 added on to a day of celebration, a Sunday, and she was towed from the parking lot next to Jay King's. Mark Fulton was also here in March. This was at 8, 8.30 at night. I was towed right after being here. What happens here is a bar crowd comes to let their hair down as most of the surrounding businesses close. Deanne Dawson has gone from work at the dentist office right next door for a drink. We're closed by 5 o'clock on a Friday night, so there's really no reason why you couldn't park here. But the property owner and a tow company don't see eye to eye with Dawson or the 26 plaintiffs listed in a lawsuit filed in September. Here's the layout. The owner of Jay King's does not own the property to the left and right of his building. That's where David Kaufman comes in. He used to own the restaurant under the name Kaufman's. Now he's the property owner of where several businesses operate close to the bar. And a parking war has gone on for months. Do you mind us coming in? We showed up at NCR okay. Towing and Recovery on Route 2 in Pasadena. They have a signed contract to tow for David Kaufman, and both are now listed in a class action lawsuit. Drivers claim Kaufman and NCR Towing are removing cars illegally. They claim the parking lot doesn't have enough signs, and the tow truck drivers aren't taking pictures of illegally parked cars before they're towed and don't accept major credit cards or have an ATM as required by law. The owner, Karen Smith, and her husband, husband buddy invited us in. We don't care who parks where. It's up to the property owner who he wants to park there and who he doesn't. And that is where this towing battle begins. Smith says her drivers remove cars at the direction of Kaufman and it seems he's keeping a close eye over his property. We noticed Dave Kaufman walking around and I kind of made the joke to my husband. I'm like, what is he doing here? And as we were walking, I noticed that he had his phone almost like he was taking pictures and I was like and then it dawned on me oh he's taking pictures of cars there's nothing illegal about Kaufman watching and calling for a tow except if he's a spotter meaning he is employed by the tow company does Dave Kaufman get a kickback from the tow oh no 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 mm -mm. nobody gets a kickback from the tow but there are plaintiffs who have invested time and money to fight what they think is illegal. They believe Kaufman or an agent of the towing company is spotting. Now, when you drive in here, you're not going to see this sign. There, there is a sign there, and it's, it's aimed that way. But if you, if you go in here and you take a left, you're going to see the back of the sign. Maxwell Cohen is the attorney representing them. He was also towed. The law states a tow company has to be available 24 hours a day for vehicle owners to reclaim their cars. Some signs here say they are. Others say they have limited hours. They said they were only going to be open until midnight. And we were like, well, we're on our way. It is midnight. I have to get the cash. They said, well, we'll stay here for a few more minutes, wait for you to get here. Denise Costa was towed with a handicap permit hanging from her mirror. We have to call the local police department, which we did. Sometimes they're available to come out to those calls, and sometimes they're just not. Lieutenant David Ennis with Anne Arundel County Police is in charge of enforcing the tow laws. To say that the officer was unavailable and didn't respond would not satisfy authorization from the police department to tow that. And there's the issue of payment. Smith and her husband showed us how people can claim their car without cash. Every driver has a smartphone with the swipe. But the plaintiffs claim they were given just one option. They told me I needed $300 cash. You didn't tell me I could bring my ATM card. I wouldn't have had to stop at 7-Eleven. And while I was in 7-Eleven, I ran into like three or four other people that I also met by the time I got to the tow lot. Found out it was $325. Right away asked, well, what kind of credit card do you accept? They said they don't. They only accept cash. 
And Cohen says there are not enough signs. We counted six, but he says there should be more in a parking lot of this size. They should also be at each entrance and exit. I'm here for the long haul, not just here to make a dollar today, be gone tomorrow. But a judge or jury may have to determine if these car owners were taken for a ride. I want my money back, and I want him to stop mistreating anybody else. David Kaufman was advised not to talk, and we have not heard from an attorney representing him. The plaintiffs are suing for over $200,000.